Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the e-Explorer off-road fat tire electric bike. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it, get it set up, take it for a spin, and we're even gonna go woodchuck hunting with it. I'm gonna use it to get around real quietly on the farm and see if we can't shoot a woodchuck or two later on. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. Well, the first thing you notice is it comes uh, packaged really well. Everything's tied up nice and tight, so it's not flopping around in here or moving around during shipping. You've got good bracing on each side. Let's go ahead and start taking everything out, and we're going to go ahead and set this up. I'm going to put you on time lapse, uh, and we'll get it set up here. We've got the bike all set up. Wasn't bad setting up at all. Pretty simple, self-explanatory. One nice thing was that it came with this back rack already attached, so you didn't even have to assemble that whatsoever. Everything went together super easy. Let's go ahead and give it our initial drive here and see what we think. So we're gonna take the e-Explorer on our first initial drive just to get a feel for it and see how it how it does. It's a really sharp looking e-bike. Just has a good flow to it and a good look to it. I like the camouflage on it with the black trim and stuff. With the big Tenda tires. Let's go ahead and kick the kickstand up. And we're gonna turn the e-bike on by holding that down and our screen's gonna come on. And you've got five pedal assist levels. One, two, three, four, five. Shows you your battery life. I'm 93% battery, it's a dual battery. So I can kick from the one that's attached uh, right inside the e-bike frame to the external battery and have extended battery life, which I can go a long stinking ways, you know, with those two batteries connected. We've got, you know, the headlight that's attached to the front. You've got your gears, front, your, your back and front brakes, uh, disc brakes. You've got a horn, and then here's your throttle. So let's go ahead and see how this works. You've got your adjustments for your front suspension here. We're gonna go ahead and lock that in just like that. Okay, here we go. Pretty darn smooth ride, you notice that right away. Got good power, 
feel that power immediately. Boy, overall, I'm super impressed. This is a pretty awesome e-bike. Certainly uh, passing all my inspections with uh, A plus rating here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep on riding it. I'll tell you some of the details about it as I ride it here and uh, I'm gonna try to keep it out of the mud. There's a bunch of mud around here and I'd rather not get it all muddy on the first day out. So as I ride the e-explorer down the road here, I wanna tell you a little bit about it. This e-bike right now is listed on the website at $2,599. And this in particular e-bike is the dual battery. Uh, it gets a lot longer extended range with the 1,000 thousand uh, watt electric motor. All these e-bikes from this company have five year limited warranties, uh, free shipping. So with this e-bike, you can get up to 90 plus miles per charge, which is incredible with uh, speeds up to 28 miles an hour. But as you guys can see on my trip, I actually got the e-bike going up over 30 miles an hour. The dual battery is a huge plus to this. Uh, it gives you the peace of mind knowing that you're not going to run out of battery. It gives you extended range. So you really, you know, in my case, I really don't have to pedal much knowing I got that dual battery. I can, I can rely more on the power of the e-bike. It's designed with the primary battery in the frame and the secondary battery integrated into the center of the frame. The batteries in the frame keep the center of gravity lower for maximum bike stability and better weight distribution uh, with loads near the rack. As you guys can see, it's this e-bike is really well balanced. I don't even have to hold the handlebars for the most part while I ride. It provides superior extended range for long trips or steep trails. Uh, upgradable single battery model of the e-bike is also available. The 1,000 watt rear hub motor is provides the power you need for steep trails and heavy lands and decreases wear on the chain, cogs, and derailleur. The color display makes it easy to see the bike status and trip data. The data displays the speed, the distance traveled, the average speed, the battery capacity, the motor power output, and whether or not your uh, light is on or off. The custom frame design is offered in three frame sizes to provide the best fit for the rider comfort. Super strong structure designed for cargo capacity in excess of 330 pounds. The lower bar design allows for easier boarding while providing the strength required for heavier riders. It's got a heavy duty rear rack designed to hold all different types of accessories. The max load capacity in this e-bike is 330 pounds. The bike itself weighs 84 pounds. The gear shifts work absolutely awesome. They're really smooth. It's got the Shimano uh, I think seven speed gear shift. It's been really, really nice and handy using that. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of off-roading here and see how it does on the trails in the woods. As you guys can see, I got the 243 strapped around my back. We're gonna go on the e-explorer e-bike here and see if we can find a woodchuck. There's a woodchuck down here in my one food plot that I'd really like to get uh, taken out. It's right next to my Miscanthus grass. So let's go down and check on that first and then 
we'll head up to the gas well piece and see if we can't find a wood shock. This e-bike is perfect for uh, riding around looking for them because it's so quiet. They have no idea you can drive right into the field and uh, they're in a world of trouble. Go ahead and turn it on. We'll take it up to five right away and let's roll. Well, the woodchuck I was looking for isn't out, unfortunately. Well, no luck in the woodchuck department today, unfortunately, but this e-bike makes for an awesome mode of transportation to come up here and hunt these, because nothing can hear you. I've driven right up to deer on this, and you know, I had no idea I was even coming. So I was right on them. If you guys are interested in one of these e-bikes, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Feel free to check them out. But thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.